So we see that the more closely a person is related to someone who suffers from schizophrenia, the more likely that person is also to suffer from the disorder. So we know from this that there is a genetic component to schizophrenia. But by itself, that's not enough. There also has to be some kind of stressful environmental experience that the person suffers from. Those two things together are really what's required. And we refer to this as the diathesis stress model. So diathesis means the biological predisposition, and the stress means some kind of environmental event. It's those two things together that are really required. And this, by the way, applies to all kinds of psychological disorders, anxiety, personality disorders, obsessive compulsive disorders. So let's take a closer look at some of these environmental risk factors for schizophrenia. So one of the risk factors involved in the development of schizophrenia is maternal infection. And so what we mean by this is that if a pregnant woman is exposed to diseases or infections, that the baby later on in life actually has an increased risk for the development of schizophrenia. So some of these diseases and infections include things like herpes, influenza, rubella, and toxoplasmosis. And toxoplasmosis, by the way, is found in feline feces, which is one reason why doctors always recommend that pregnant women stay away from cat litter. Other environmental risk factors include chronic stress and taking certain drugs. Now again, by themselves, these things do not cause or even really increase schizophrenia. It's that coupled with a genetic predisposition that's really required. And again, this is what we mean by the diathesis stress model.